Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be making a recipe from the official One Piece cookbook. It's called Sanji's Recipes. Uh, I don't have the cookbook and it's in Japanese and I don't know any Japanese, so I can't translate it. But I saw a TikTok of somebody making it and I decided to make it for myself and give it a try. And I also found a recipe for it online. And the recipe online and the TikTok will be linked in the description if you want to see it for yourself. But I'm going to be making it. And today we're going to need, it's called uh, Meat on the Bone. And it's Luffy's favorite from One Piece. So it serves four people. And what we're going to need today is four chicken drumsticks. But I got a big pack. I'm only going to be using four. Then we also need some ground chicken. Uh, I chose ground chicken, but the lady in the video, she chopped up uh, chicken breast, it looked like. She chopped up cooking chicken breast really fine, and she was able to use that, but I thought ground chicken would be easier, so that's what I got. And next thing we're going to need is four hard-boiled eggs, which I have them right here, and they're peeled and they're waiting. And then we're going to need 30 grams of panko seasoning. I don't know how to measure in the metric system, so I'm just going to eyeball it and estimate. Then next thing we're gonna need is two tablespoons of milk. So, and then we're gonna need one teaspoon of salt right here. Then some black pepper, it says a dash of black pepper. And then we're gonna need vegetable oil as needed and one egg. So right now I'm gonna do the first step, which is uh, making the chicken drumsticks ready. So. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the skin off of the chicken. So I'm going to cut it like right here. I'm going to cut the skin off, take that off, and then we're going to cut it off from the bottom too so we can turn it inside out. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I mean by cutting the skin off. Right here I have the four pieces and we're going to like cut right about here. And we're going to get the skin off of the pieces of chicken. So, it's kind of hard, but... Oh, this knife is kind of dull. But here we go. So, now that I'm starting to get the skin off of the chicken, we're going to want to cut to where it stops. I'd say right about here. It's kind of attached on there good. Yeah, this knife isn't sharp at all. <laughs> Just trust the process. <laughs> Yeah, this is hard. Might be also, yeah, this knife is barely sharp. Get this last little chunk off and then I'll show you how to turn it inside out. Okay, there we go. So we got the skin off, right? So now it looks like this. The next step is to get the meat inside out. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the meat off the bottom half and then we're gonna flip it up so it's hanging from the top half. So I think I'm gonna start from the bottom uh, when I'm cutting this off. And then we'll see how that turns out. Here we go. So yeah, I think I'll do it one side at a time getting it off. So that side's off and then this side. Okay guys, so what I did here, I'm gonna try to bring it a little closer. So I cut it off from the bottom. So now we're gonna try to cut the rest away from the bone. 
see it's still a little stuck um, still stuck to the bone a little but just gonna want to keep going along the bone trying to get the meat off and what you can do is you can kind of also slice it along here but try not to slice it off so there we got that so now see how it's coming off the bone gradually so you're gonna want to keep trying to get off the bone okay so I skipped uh, so yeah I'm sorry for cutting off but it was just taking so long but yeah I kept cutting off the strands and now it was like this and now we're gonna hang it down to here so this is the top half of the chicken so here's the top half and the bottom half is all clean and it's all hanging off the top here as you can see and that's what we're gonna want to get okay guys now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it with the rest I'm gonna do it with these three I'm gonna skip this part because I already showed you how it's done and then I'll show you the next step after I'm done getting the skin off and getting the meat to the top half hey everyone okay so I finally finished cutting all four of them process probably took like 15 to 20 minutes I'd say uh, it's kind of a long process but here we go we got all the skin off and we got it inside out so the, once again this is the top and then we turn it inside out and all the meat is off the bone and that's what we want so after this I'm going to show you the second step let me just get cleaned up for a second okay everyone I'm going to be doing the second step so what we're going to do is we're going to put 30 grams of panko uh, I have one third cup because Google said that um, 30 grams of panko is 3 eighths and this was the closest one to 3 eighths. So next I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of milk or I think that's after you mix in the ground chicken. So we're gonna mix in the ground chicken, two tablespoons of milk, one egg and then one teaspoon of salt and a sprinkle of ground pepper. I'll put the pepper and salt in right now, but do a little of ground pepper, then one te teaspoon of salt. Oh, let's hope I don't overdo this. All right. I don't want too much salt, that's good. One teaspoon of salt and then two teaspoons of two tablespoons of milk one two and then one egg and then the ground chicken and we'll mix it all together Okay, everyone, so continuation of step two. We got all the ingredients in here. Now we're gonna be adding the ground chicken. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how much ground chicken to use, so I'm just gonna guesstimate. I'm just gonna grab about half of this and mix it in. So let's see how that works. Now let's mix it in. And if it's too much, I'll probably end up adding some more ingredients. So let's just mix it. Okay, everyone, I'm done mixing it. Ours was a little bit too uh, not sticking together, so I added a little bit more breadcrumbs. Now it's sticking together. So that's step two done. Now step three is we're gonna be needing the hard boiled eggs. So this is already peeled. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the hard boiled egg and put it at the end of the meat. Oh, this is slippery. Oh, hold on, let me get another glove. Okay, so now we have the egg and we're gonna put it in here. Looks kind of weird, but yeah, we're gonna put it in here like this. And yeah, my egg's sliding out a little, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the mixture that we have earlier and we're gonna like put that on top and try to form the meat on the stick. On the bone, I mean, my bad. 
Oh, it's the egg slipping out everywhere. But you're gonna wanna cover the whole thing and the mixture uh, towards the, like the middle of the bone is where you're gonna wanna stop. So yeah. Okay everyone, I finished it. So now we're gonna put it in the oven. I kinda think I used too much of the wrapping on this one and that one. And as a result, there wasn't a lot left for this one. So, I mean, there's not much I could do about it because getting it on was kind of hard. Um, I forgot to use the olive oil. I mean, not the olive oil, the vegetable oil. Because you're supposed to use vegetable oil on your hands when you're using um, the wrap on the chicken and trying to wrap the egg. But it's kind of too late for that. So I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I'm finished cooking them, and it's been about 40 minutes we put it in the oven because um, we wanted to get it looking like golden and like a little crispy, uh, so we put it in for 10 extra minutes, and this is what it looks like when it's done. We already took one to try to taste it and taste test it, and it was pretty good. It was really good. Um, the part that we put on the outside was really crispy when it was done. And it tasted really good. But a few of the things that we probably would do in the future is try to season the meat. Because the meat on the chicken leg wasn't really uh, flavorful. And the meat was really tender and juicy. Uh, it was a really, really juicy, tender meat. Uh, same thing with the this. It's like crunchy. It's not really crunchy, but it's kind of like firm. If you can see. It's kind of... It's firm and it has it's juicy because of the chicken, but it's also a little crunchy in the end. But a few things we would do differently is definitely marinate or season the chicken and probably add like a few more seasonings into here because I don't think I put in enough black pepper. Uh, the black pepper taste didn't really come through. Another thing that I would have done differently is probably try to like proportionately put the mix onto the each chicken leg because the way i did it i kind of ran out of the ground chicken breading to put on so that's another thing i would do differently but it was really good and i definitely would make it again uh and next time i don't think i would use the ground chicken i think i would cut it up on my own uh from like chicken breast or something that's what i would do dice it up on my own instead of using the ground chicken from the store but yeah, I thought this was really good, and it was, yeah, it was really good. Definitely 10 out of 10. Uh, thanks for watching.